This is the new reactor ice tool available this fall, fall of 2018. It is awesome. It's an ice climbing tool, a mixed climbing tool. It's an all-in-one tool. Aluminum shaft, steel head. Most people like a little bit of head weight up there. This is how we're adjusting the size of the grip. Most go down here. Here, this is the small grip, so this is the big insert, and then it also comes with a smaller insert, takes up less volume, so if you have bigger hands. So that means your hand is always in the same spot for rotation, no matter how big your hand is, because it gets bigger there, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, dual density uh, handle, so plastic and then overmolded with the rubber grip. Steel head with an aluminum side plate, and the beauty of this rig is we can use our Alpine hammer and Alpine ads on this tool to make it more of an all-mount rig because a lot of people are taking these more offset tools into the mountains doing the hard, gnarly stuff in Pakistan or whatever. It's got a more open pick angle than a lot of other tools out there, so it makes for really natural, easy swing. It's definitely not intended to climb your M14 proj because it's gonna pop a little earlier, but grade three to grade six ice and up to M whatever, this thing is sweet. It also comes with a new pick. So this is a new pick called the natural ice pick. Our old pick was called the ice pick. It's shorter here and thinner, so less volume. So it's basically easier in, easier out. Some of our other ice tools will also come with this pick for fall 18. So the combination of the steel head, the lower profile pick, the really open pick angle, lots of clearance, and the nice adjustable grip makes this rig super sweet for climbing ice or in the Alpine. It'll come like this with the naturalized pick and with the other, uh, the other insert here, depending on the size. And then if you wanted to add a hammer or an adz, that would be additional. It's called the Alpine hammer and the Alpine adz. That's the one beauty of BD picks is that we basically never changed our pick interface ever. So any pick that you have will fit on this. You could put a mixed pick that's got the teeth up here and it's a little burlier. We have a, a pick called the Alpine pick, which is a little thicker all the way across the board if you were really gonna like beat the crap out of stuff. So yeah, any, any pick will fit on this. All our picks are one kind of angle, except one, which is called the Ice Plus, and it's a Ice Plus two degrees, so it's a little more open. So if you wanted this tool to be even a little more open, you could put the Ice Plus pick on there, but if you get too open, then you risk it popping off, you know? But this is the optimal angle. Inez is one of our athletes and she knows more about ice climbing than anybody. She would take the Cobra into the Alpine and the Fusion for like mixed routes and she would never know what to do when she goes to Pakistan or these places. What tool do I take? You don't want to take two. After testing this all winter, she's saying this is like the one tool that I'll, I can climb hard enough mixed, but it climbs ice great. You know, so she found it the, the perfect balance. We had a tool in the early 2000s called the Reactor. And it was a really open pick angle, but it was a little ahead of its time with respect to being a leashless tool to climb ice. At that time, people were still using leashes to climb ice and using, going leashless to climb mixed. We look at the Cobra, which is a great swinging tool, and then the Fusion and the Fuel, which are a little more steeper mixed tools, and we wanted to be like right in between. But this old school, an old school guy like me who like swings from the shoulder, this is a great, great swing and ice tool. And this new reactor swings really similarly to the Cobra because of the open pick angle. And the fuel climbs ice well for sure. It's definitely got more of a mixed vibe to it. So this is, I would say, a little more geared towards mixed. This is definitely more geared towards ice when compared. They both cost the same, $299 retail. And then the Viper is our general Alpine ice climbing do get anything done tool. And this is the ads I was talking about that this ads and the hammer will fit onto this, uh, this new reactor. If you wanted to compare like the volume of displacement at like 2.5 centimeters or something from the tip and it, you know, if everyone talked in the same language, but people don't. Same with the angles. People don't know how to talk about angles. We find it hard to even talk about angles within BD because it's hard to measure because every tool is a little bit different. But our picks are all the same angle so if I put any pick on this tool, it would be the same angle except for the, the one that's the plus two degrees, which is a little more open. But yeah, I think, it's a, I think it's two or three mils shorter on this tool and 0.3 or so thinner, which equates to like 25 millimeters cubed worth of volume or something up in here. And, but you do notice it. You can really see the difference in the height. It's harder to see in the width, but you can see how tall this this is the ice, which will be gone for fall 18. 
And this is the natural ice, which is shorter and thinner. Yeah, it makes a big difference. It's all about energy in, right, when you're doing that.